on uh, the overnight over uh, loadout, I talked about uh, packing stuff in an Alice pack, and it kind of made me think that maybe I should go over putting stuff in an Alice pack and how I pack an Alice pack. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, but this is how I can do it. You can get a lot of stuff in a normal, medium Alice pack. And my advice is get the frame with the Alice pack if you do it. It really saves your back. A lot of people don't like the Alice pack. I've had that one uh, since I was 16 years old, so that makes it, uh, let's just say, you know, 20 plus years old. 24 years old actually. Um, it's a great pack. Uh, I've carried it many, many miles. And when I was teaching, when I was guiding, that was the pack I carried with my canoe. So it's a great pack and uh, I've used it a lot. And I'm going to go over a loadout. This is a little bit different loadout. Instead of having a hammock, we're going to go with a sleeping pad and a tent. And uh, we'll start going over that right away. start with, I always like to take my poncho that I'm going to take and I open up the lid because this is quick access. Stuff that you can see that's pretty wore through right there because I use a lot. You can also put maps in here um, but they have a tendency to get wet. I want this in here because I want quick access to it. Stuff that baby in there. So that's the first pocket that I load. The next pockets that I load are my upfront pockets. And the reason for that is, is it's a lot easier to get stuff in these right now as opposed to having this hole filled up, filled up all the way and then trying to get it stuffed in. I'll put my tarp in case I need to get a shelter up real quick. That's bonus right there. First aid kit, obvious reasons. We need a first aid kit. I want that on the outside of my pack. And if you're going out with uh, other people, they should know where your first aid kit is. Fortunately for me, this thing comes out a lot easier than it goes in. Maybe on top of that first aid kit, I want to put my fire starting kit and my flashlight. That way I've got those just in case it gets bad. I want to put both snaps, hook them both up, and put them down. Skeeter on my back. Middle one, I'm putting my water filter. I'm going to put some bug spray. Yeah, I'm going to tighten that down. All right, now those are my packs, my front pockets packed. And that way now I don't have to worry about fighting with getting those in. Uh, next thing I'm going to put in is my sleeping pad. All right, this is a Thermarest. Put that baby in there. Put it in however you like. But I want to put that in because that's one of the last things that I'm going to get out. I'm not going to need my cook kit right away. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm not going to need my socks right away. Those are going to go in. I'm not going to need my fleece right away. That's going to go in. I always start at the bottom. I try and pack stuff around. My chair goes in. Uh, this is my stove and my uh, fuel for my stove. That's going to go in. Anything hard, I want to try and keep away from my back also. Uh, the heavier stuff, I like to keep it towards my back also. That way it doesn't tend to pull away from you. 550 cord going in. Food, if you need a snack on the road, it's always a good thing to have your food right there. Rain gear goes on top. Yeah, I'm going to anchor down. Good to go. I like to put my cords in there. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I got a one person tent right here. I'm going to put that back here. And I'm going to fix my straps. This one's getting a little old. It doesn't have quite the bite as it used to, but still works well. Next thing I'm going to do is put my sleeping bag on the bottom. I like to try and keep all my cords tucked in so they're not falling all over the place. And this is a Canadian jam. I've talked about Canadian jams in other videos. And once again, this is that Kelty backpack, or not backpack, the Kelty sleeping bag. Tighten those babies down. I'm going to tuck the cords so they aren't in the way. 
if I want to take an axe, one of the nice things about the Alice pack is right down the pocket, you can slide an axe. Right? So that's a loadout. Pretty fast, pretty effective. If you have something with a strap, like let's say my water bottle, and I want to carry it on my back for a while, you can always run it like this and carry it on your back. Real fast loadout of the Alice pack. Great pack uh, for about you know 30 to 40 bucks online. You can get these babies. Like I said, I've had one for years, never had problems with it. I always put a handle on them too. That way I can just lift it up, bring it up to my shoulder, and on the trail we go.